Hello, this is Bruce McLean with Clemson Extension. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some of the newer fresh market cultivars, muscadine cultivars that are out there. So this list right here is, uh, this list from the University of Georgia on their Georgia Muscadine Production Guide. And just looking at the list, you're gonna see a lot of very familiar older varieties. You know, you're gonna see Supreme up there, Terra, Triumph, Fry, Nesbitt, um, you know, a lot of your tried and true varieties that, uh, that have a lot of merit. But this list is a little bit dated and it does miss um, some of the newer ones that are out there. So what is new? Um, these four right here are from the University of Georgia Breeding Program, Muscadine Breeding Program. Uh, you'll see Hall is the, <clears throat> is the, the one bronze. And then we have Lane and, uh, and Polk. And uh, we have uh, Ruby Crisp as well. And, but we do have a, a couple of um, a couple of seedless ones from, um, from private breeding program of, of uh, Jeff Bloodworths as well. So let's talk about Lane first. Lane is a 2012 release from the University of Georgia. It is a cross between Supreme and Terra, and you'll see this on, uh, on a couple of other ones as well. Uh, it is self-fertile uh, with moderate vine vigor and moderate yields. Um, better than, than most of the female varieties that are out there. Uh, firm flesh, but it does have a little bit of a tendency to split and tear right there at the, at the stem scar. So that could cause a little bit of a leakage issue in, in packaging. Uh, it is slightly smaller uh, in size than pulp, which is another one that we're gonna talk about in just a moment, and Supreme, sort of you know, one of the older tried and true uh, fresh market varieties. Uh, it does feel a really nice early season window though. Um, and that's kind of unique for, um, for, the, um, for the black, um, black muscadines out there. Hall is a 2014 release from the uh, University of Georgia. It is a cross between Fry and Terra. And just looking at the picture, it is the center one. Uh, and you'll, you know, just, and you're going to kind of compare it to, uh, to Terra, which is just to its right. Uh, it is self fertile, um, has, you know, good yields, better than most of the female varieties that are out there. Uh, very comparable to other self, uh, self fertile. Um, varieties. Uh, the, the fruit, um, you know, is similar in size to Terra. You know, so looking at the pictures, they are very similar in size. The, uh, the biggest difference is, is that the color is kind of a yellow to a golden yellow color as compared to Terra, which is kind of a yellow green color. Now, it, um, it does have better flavor than Terra, but, and I think really the largest or the biggest thing there is, is that Terra is one, even at right, it does have a, um, it doesn't really color up, you know, uh, uh, a lot. The, it's very subtle uh, difference between a color in coloration between right and slightly under right. So I think that is a lot of the differences that, uh, you know, Terra is one that you'll sit there and you'll eat. You know, you'll get a couple of really nice sweet ones and all of a sudden you'll get one that's a bit tart. And the reason why is, a, you know, it's, a, it's just a little bit underripe. Uh, it is a little difficult to, you know, for sometimes for the, um, for your harvesters, for your workers to, to make that distinction between what is ripe and what's slightly underripe. But with Hall, Hall on the other hand is, um, you know, it is much more noticeable between what is underripe versus what is ripe. Um, so it is a little, maybe a little softer than tear, uh, but it's not really prone to any type of, uh, you know, split or tear at the, uh, at the stem scar. Next is, uh, Polk. Polk is, uh, one that we had mentioned a couple of slides back. Um, it is a cross between tear and, and uh, or Supreme and Terra, just like, uh, just like Lane. It is a 27, 20. 2017 release from the University of Georgia. It is self-fertile and it's a high yielder. Very large fruit, very similar to Supreme in appearance. Uh, the main difference is, is that the fruit, uh, very similar in, you know, with that dark purple coloration, maybe with a little bit of a, of a lighter color uh, shoulders on it, 
but the 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 lenticels themselves are much more noticeable. They're, they're more prominent. And so when you look at the fruit, um, very slight difference, uh, you know, between the two of them. Uh, but the uh, the fruit is somewhat softer than Supreme, but it does ha still have very good fruit quality. Uh, very low potential to um, to split in the stem scar. Okay, next that we're going to talk about is Ruby Crisp. Uh, it is a 2019 release from the University of Georgia. Uh, it, like Paul and like, um, like Lane, it is a cross between Supreme and Terra. The, uh, it is self-fertile, like the other ones that we've spoken about, is a high yielder with very large fruit. The, uh, this picture right here really does not do it justice. Uh, it, according to looking at the picture, it does still have that, that, that purplish coloration. But really, you, you get down the field and you look at it in the sunlight, and it has this bright ruby red color. It's a very unique color, a very very pretty color for the um, for the fruit. Uh, it is um, does have a little potential to to um, split at the uh, at the stem scar. The um, the the fruit is really really sweet and very crisp, especially right at harvest. Now, the the fruit does tend to soften once you put it into cold storage. That's a little bit of a down, downfall to it. And so shelf life might be a little bit shortened on it. Uh, it's it's um, yeah, primarily marketed as more of a homeowner, more of a local market type of, uh, uh, type of muscadine. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I think it really does have some potential on the commercial side. But it is one that you that you would really have to move uh, quickly, um, you know, something that you really won't want to sit on because you know the 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 market quality does fall off, you know, pretty quickly. So, uh, but do watch this when it, it is a uh, it does have the potential to overcrop. So, so definitely watch it, especially in the early years. So. Uh, I mentioned a while ago that there were a couple of seedless, seedless ones out there out of the, uh, out of the Jeff uh, Bloodworth pro, um, breeding program, his private breeding program. And so we'll talk about those uh, right now. Uh, the first one that we're going to mention is Rasmataz. Uh, I know a lot of folks have, uh, you know, have, have probably heard uh, some of, uh, of this and, and maybe not have seen it uh, in the field yet, but it's a uh, very unique looking fruit. Um, does have these smaller clusters of, uh, of fruit. It, it is a cross between a bunch grape and a muscadine. Uh, so it does have a lot of those, the qualities of a bunch grape. Um, it, is, um, it is kind of a unique size. It is a very small fruit. It's uh, about a quarter of an inch, maybe, uh, you know, especially when they're, when they're really young, they're, they tend to be rather small, about a quarter of an inch. When they get older, Maybe they'll, you know, they'll, they'll size up a little better, maybe three-eighths of an inch up to it, maybe a half inch, but they are still a very small fruit, especially for muscadines. Um, they are very sweet, uh, and they don't have that musky taste like, you know, like all of us are very familiar with on um, muscadines. It is um, completely seedless, and it is uh, is kind of referred to as a salad grape. And like I had mentioned before, this is uh, this is out of the, uh, the Jeff Bloodworth's uh, breeding program. The next one that we're going to talk about is another one. It's called Oh My, which is also another sw very sweet and uh, completely seedless, um, seedless you know, hybrid between a bunch grape and a muscadine. It, unlike the, ras uh, the rasmataz, it looks much more like what we're familiar with with a muscadine as far as appearance. Uh, the 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 fruit is about comparable size to you know to some of the the, the bronze varieties and muscadines that are out there. Um, the one the main difference is that it is rather thin skin, um, and it's um, but like I said, it, it is a, a, a full size fruit, you know, much similar to to what we're normally seeing with uh, uh, familiar with seeing with muscadines. Uh, it, like the rasmataz, is a cross between a bunch grape and a muscadine. Now, the one thing I did want to mention on the, the two seedless varieties, they do have utility patents on them. And if, uh, if, you're, if you're not um, you know, familiar with maybe how utility patents uh, work, 
I would definitely say, you know, do a, um, do a search on it at, for, you know, each one of these and look at the patents and read up on it. There is some proprietary technology out there that, that um, the Jeff has used. And so, um, you know, he, he has gone, you know, taken the efforts to, to try to put, put in place, you know, some, some protection against, uh, against some of his work. So I will say that, um, say this, any, any plant that has a utility patent uh, cannot be asexually reproduced in any way, shape, form, or fashion. No cuttings, no air layers, no, uh, no root cuttings or anything like that. You, know, you, you, you can't do any type of asexual propagation. Um, but unlike a lot of your other patented plants with a utility patent, you cannot use it for sexual uh, reproduction either. So you cannot use it as a pollen source nor as a, um, as a pollen receptor, something that you're actually crossing another variety into that you're gonna collect, you know, potentially collect seed. So, but any, like I said, any type of sexual or asexual um, reproduction is completely prohibited um, under patent law. So, um, just wanted to point out some three really good websites that are out there. That um, where you can where you can read up, um, yeah, and find out a lot more information. So the first one is the uh, at smallfruits.org. You can look under crops and uh, under crops look up muscadines, and there's a tremendous amount of information that is out there. Uh, you can also look up the uh, University of Georgia their website on muscadines. Uh, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash muscadines dot C-A-E-S dot U-G-A dot E-D-U forward slash. Or you can look up the North Carolina State University's website on muscadines or on grapes, and, and but you'll get to the muscadine section. It's H-T-T-P-S colon forward slash forward slash grapes dot C-E-S dot N-C-S-U dot edu forward slash resources dash muscadine forward slash muscadines forward slash. Thank you for your attention today and, and, and attending the, uh, the Muscadine School. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to me and, uh, and I'll do my best to try to help you. Thank you.